Well, probably they had a better upbringing. They got a better education, like some of us. Some of us, you know, make mistakes in life. We can't be judged by our past. But you know, they do. They judge and, you by your past. Right. And as, as my grandpa would say, you don't judge a book by the cover. You got to read into that book to find out if you like it or not. And then at the end, tell me, when you set that back page, tell me what you thought about it. People just are so sad. It hurts my feelings. Like, seeing people be so so standoffish towards other people, too. Inclusiveness means I am. I am part of. I am owner of. I am a citizen of. I am productive in. I am participating in. I have a place. I have a voice. I am a part. I am with you. I am you. That's the inclusiveness. When we start to allow segregation and separation and start to diminish, demean, or exile the inclusiveness we really exile ourselves, our own ambitions, our own heart. And uh, that everything we have done is, is been against a uh, very proud people, a very proud person that wants to work every day, that doesn't need a handout and doesn't want one. And, and yet they've been forced to ha take handouts just, just to trying to survive. And all this advertising and all these uh, PAC organizations and all of these uh, you know, the Supreme Court's give it all this grave and wondrous thing is freedom of speech, but, you know, it's not an individual. It's a corporation. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a group. You know, it's, it's no longer free speech. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's an organized monopoly, I guess. I really do hope things change for the better. That's, that's, that's my main thing right there. I just, I, I want to see it get different, and I want to see it, you know, be productive for me as a citizen and as a whole as a community and I feel that it's really kind of marketed towards a certain class of people like you know and I feel like it's not really even that applicable to me like as a you know an average citizen like I would be kind of rated on the lower poles of uh, you know kind of upper lower class kind of you know on that borderline and I feel that it's just you know I, I, don't, I don't feel like it I'm I feel like I'm being set up for failure when it comes to that, in a citizen's perspective. If we don't work together and do something positive, um, we're all going to suffer in the end. So that's what I'm hoping that um, you know people do decide uh, to vote, uh, to get involved, and uh, get young people excited. Do unto others, you'd have them do unto you. And always be thankful and blessed for the little bit that you do get because you don't know what it's really like to be homeless and living on the street in the cold. Wishing, seeing people walk and dropping food and when you're hungry. Um, I want to say, uh, you know, no matter where you're at in life, no matter what you do, um, no matter, no matter what you go through, I think that you should always learn to trust and have faith in God because, because with God, it says, it says with God all things are possible. So, I mean, I've, I've been homeless on several occasions. And uh, I've, I've been from shelter to shelter and home to home. But really, when you learn to trust in God and you ask Him for His guidance and, and ask Him for His hand, healing you, um, leading you where He wants you to go, all things are possible. Uh, the children are in school systems that are not teaching them. They're, uh, they're, some kids are graduating, they can't read or write, you know. They can't read or write. They spend 12 years in school. It's still happening, and that's sad. What is a guy going to do that can't read or write in this country now, in this, in this technological age? So we need to work a little harder and be a little bit more serious about serving each other. Um, there's nothing wrong with uh, with uh, Cooperations, I personally don't see anything wrong with cooperations being profitable. That's the whole purpose of being a cooperation. But I, I really seriously think they ought to pray about uh, solutions. And that's what we want to be. We want to be a part of the solution. We want to help with solutions. And we want to be an asset 
as a as opposed to an adversary to the system we want to be an asset to the system we want to come up with productive constructive ways of moving this country for and make us and making us up the most powerful nation in the world not by might but by greatness and goodness anything else you want to add god bless everybody and may we continue to love each other and demonstrate love for one another thank you for talking to me yes sir